Hey guys, welcome to a brand new video. Today, we're going to be taking a look at the amphibious Grumman Goose. The aircraft was originally designed to be a commuter in the Long Island area of New York for businessmen. Its first prototype flew on the 29th of May in 1937, and it turned out to be a huge success for Northrop Grumman. The Grumman Goose aircraft, with its many variants, had an eventful life. The variants had different specifications for different lines of work, like the G21F for Fish and Wildlife Service in Alaska, the Goose Mark II as staff transports for the British, the JRF-1 and 1A built for the Navy, the G21B armed with 30-inch machine guns and underwing bombs for the Portuguese Navy. These aircraft came with quite a hefty price tag, but would have been absolutely worth it because 16 countries operated variants of the aircraft for their militaries. From Argentina to Canada, the United Kingdom to Indonesia, and even Japan to Australia. The original production version, the Grumman Goose G21, had a price tag of 62,000 US dollars in 1942. But when accounting for inflation of over 1500%, it's equivalent to just over 1 million dollars today. It was powered by two Pratt & Whitney Canada engines, specifically two R-985-AN-6 engine models with 450 horsepower each. Those engines were partnered with three-bladed variable pitch propellers. Now let's look at the performance of this aircraft. It had a maximum speed of 175 knots, a cruise speed of 166 knots, a maximum range of 557 nautical miles, a service ceiling of 21,300 feet, and a climb rate of 1,100 feet per minute. Now let's look at the weight. It had a maximum takeoff weight of 8,000 pounds, an empty weight of 5,425 pounds, and a useful load of 2,575 pounds. If you wanted to see one of these aircraft today, many museums in the United States and at least one museum in Canada and Indonesia respectively have these aircraft on display. Now your chances to buy one won't be so generous. What are your thoughts on the Grumman Goose? Have you heard of it before this video? And do you agree that it was a huge success? If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like. And if you want to see more content like this, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell button to get notifications when I upload a new video. That's all for this video. It's been Marlon the Aviator, and I'm out. <laughs>